Say me rise with confidence. Thing I say me fi have confidence. Bob Marley say don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Little birds by my doorstep. But me not seen a bird off in my doorstep. But I man not worry or nothing. Magical Laws video loading in. Hi. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one. Well, I just see him like a maga boy again. Yeah, yeah. Put some confidence in your thing now. I'm going to road, go do the thing now. Put some confidence in your thing now. <laughs> Put some confidence in your thing now I'm going to road, go do the thing now Put some confidence in your thing now I'm going to road, go do the thing now No make nobody tell you you can make it in a life Anybody tell you that them is a waste of time Welcome to another vibe With the I Am Magical Laws channel So for those who are new here My channel's name is I Am Magical Laws network yeah man the channel that emit positive vibration welcome magical fam yeah man only for aki and tree yeah man even though they are not fully ready as yet yeah but a lot of aki and tree you know and if you are a Jamaican you know this is you know a part of our national dish you know Aki and Saltfish yeah man no matter what type of category they placed you in as a Jamaican whether they placed you in the poor class the middle class or the rich this is one fruit that we all share as our national dish yeah man so i don't really categorize people you know as being poor mega class and as being rich you know because as long as we have life yeah man we are rich and that's the greatest riches you know because many people you know have a lot of money yeah and they are they don't they are not well so i would have said the abundance of life you know is health yeah man so whole heap of acupuncture yeah man yeah Aki and Saltfish So for me I don't eat Saltfish But you know It's still our national dish But what I Mix my Aki with Is Kalalo You know and as the Rasta man would have said Ailalo Ailalo and Aki You know so if you if you never tried that yet, yeah man, you can try it man. Yeah man, Isla Lua Aki. Great mixture. So magical fam, the real reason for me doing this video today is you know I have a pomegranate tree, you know, some of me can sometimes pronounce the fruit as panganat yeah but the right pronunciation is pomegranate you know so this is the fruit 
pomegranate you know so I was doing a a research you know trying to understand other than the antioxidant properties in pomegranate you know and the inflammatory properties what other component component or compound is within this plant or fruit you know and when i research i realize that this fruit pomegranate is native from asia you know and it strikes something to me because as a herbalist and doing research you know i realize that a lot of plants comes are native from asia so i type in you know a question on google uh why so many fruits and plants are native to Asia. This is what I come up with. You know, someone asks a question, how come so many fruits originate from Asia? Like apples, oranges, peaches, and so many others. Like even orange we love and them stuff there. You know? So I'm reading uh, the answer from George Lou. You know, he's a food scientist, ACF certified chef and food lover. Yeah, and he said, here are good three reasons. He said, first, number one, Asia is huge, so its borders contain many different climates and temperature zones ranging from subarctic to tropical especially if you include southeast asian countries as well this makes for lots of different growing condition for many different types of fruits Two, Asian civilization has been around for a very long time. Their cities, language, writing and culture have been around for thousands of years. In long-standing civilization, the ability to write and record information allow the educate to develop science, mathematics and technology and Asia has done this for thousands of years as well. China has written records that are more than 4,000 years old and they have been doing agriculture for almost twice that long so that it is a lot of time to develop many of those fruits even with the basic selective breeding method of keeping the seeds of the plant you like to sow for the next year's crop so magical farm in my research it also talks about how you know they store the seeds of the fruit you know for the next season you know and i think of you know food preservation and seed preservation you know and uh that's a good thing you know and i only hope that our agriculture minister or our farmers and uh, 
our people of Jamaica, you know, are doing seed pre preservation and food preservation. You know? Yeah, man. And we also have to give thanks to the birds. You know, like this this tree or this plant. You know, I never plant it. You know? And I would assume that the bird dropped the seed. You know? And as even though they talked about, you know, the trading route of Asia, I also believe that the birds, you know, the birds also help us to preserve our organic seeds, you know. Because in my research, I also realized that a bird can travel up to 16,000 miles, you know? Yeah, and when I talk about the birds dropping seed, this plant, which is called Ram Goat Dashalam, I never plant it also, you know, the bird carry the seed you know and I can show you that I planted this one you know I planted this tree you know this ram goat dashalam tree and then you know the birds transport these seeds you know so I never plant this one the birds transport the seed and also this one here the bird transport the seed so even though you know they talk about the trading route in Asia you know and how people you know carry back seeds to different places you know different parts of the world you know i also think that the birds you know who can travel up to sixteen thousand miles you know have a hand in also helping us to preserve or organic seeds no I'm not there are other ways that they preserve seeds in the lab you know by genetically modifying those seeds you know at times we have to use them because we don't have a choice but if I have preference or if I have a choice I'd rather the organic seed, you know, even these trees over here, they attract birds, you know, the GoPro can zoom in, so I'm going to use the, this tree right here attract a lot of birds, you know, I need to find out, you know, what's the name, what, what is the name of this tree? You know, are the name of the fruits on this tree why it attract a lot of birds? Yeah, man. So because of that, yeah, man, a lot of birds, you know, come around. Magical family, did you know tamarind make good juice? Yeah man, a good mixture, blend of a juice, is tamarind and thinking too. Yeah man, I blend man. So, if you didn't know, 
the thinking too in that blend is a blood builder yeah man and the tamarind can also use as a laxative yeah man so if you have problem going to the bathroom yeah man you can make you know a tamarind juice and that will help you to go to the bathroom yeah so tamarind man nice juice mixture and if if you are a jamaican you would know that yeah as a child growing up yeah tamarind ball is one of our favorite you know snack you know just like how we could buy any other sweet you know we could get our tamarind ball you know yeah so tamarind nice blended juice yeah i can use as laxative and it can also mix with thinking too yeah man the thinking too is otherwise called locust yeah and the thinking too or locust is a blood builder yeah so if you want to build build up your blood yeah man thinking too is a good blood builder yeah help to build your immune system yeah man yeah and as i write a quote one time and said that said sugar will become sweeter after a sour relationship yeah man so the quote is sugar will become sweeter than tamarind after a sour relationship yeah man a magical farm you know sometime in the youtube community tab it asks you a question you know what is on your mind so i choose to share what is on my mind today you know i share just that little research that i did you know. pomegranate yeah full of antioxidant and also carries compound that can prevent oxidative damage to your cells yeah man nowadays i see you know companies that make juice they mix the pomegranate with the pine juice you know so the pomegranate with the pine juice is a good mixture yeah man but i also believe that you know if you cut open the fruit and just eat it yeah man it is more powerful and also if you you have your blender and you open the fruit and blend the juice yourself yeah man it's more potent yeah but give thanks for the companies that prepare nice pomegranate juice for us you know because sometimes because of you know how busy we are we do have the time to really make the juice for ourselves you know and uh i always say that's not even an excuse you know as the bible said you are inexcusable oh man you know so i would say no matter how busy you are for your health sake find time to you know 
make your own juice. Yeah, you know, when I make the juice, I just dig a hole and bury the, the seeds, you know? And this tree came from, you know, that. You know, and a lot of the fruit trees in my garden, you know, came the same way. The Aki tree, yeah man, same way they go and just bury the seeds. You know, didn't pl buy any plant or stuff like that. This tree here is called black currant or blackberry. You know, same procedure. Yeah. Also the source of trees. Yeah man, that's the same way how I planted them. Yeah man. When I make the juice, I just bury the seeds. And you know, that's how I came about with all of these trees. Other than the ones I show you that the seeds were transported by the birds. You know? The birds that are free. You know? Sometimes we buy a little bird as a pet. You know? This is a cage but there is no bird in it now. But sometimes we cage up the bird. You know? But I'm talking about the the uncaged birds yeah man they help us to preserve our organic seeds you know and as I said it's possible because a bird can migrate and travel up to 16,000 miles you know, and it also say if a bird travel eight hour per day within sixty eight or sixty six sorry sixty six days a bird can reach its destination. You know, and that's why one of the things that we have to do when we are planting, we can't just think about ourselves and just the things we eat, we also have to plant trees that attract birds, you know? And when we plant things that attract birds, then, you know, and also our environment have to be clean to attract birds. Yeah, man. Pomegranate, yeah, one of my favorite fruit, you know, is native to Asia, yeah man, and as I said earlier, it is a fruit that uh, full of antioxidant properties, you know, and the uh, the compound in this fruit are from this plant, you know, can help to, you know, reduce damage to your cells. So, pomegranate can help with Preventing oxidative damage to your cells. Yeah, man. So, magical family. I hope that, you know, this content today, you know, will, you will learn something from it. And if you learn something, share it with a friend or share it with a family. Yeah, man. Pomegranate.
Yeah. So, see you in another video. Yeah, man. And thanks for 500 subscribers and beyond. Yeah, man. Blessings. Peace. Mommy, just pray for me. Mommy, just pray for me.